All right, two pieces of news that I really want to talk about for how it affects the financial services industry and how it affects you as a financial advisor. One is DTCC, or the Depository Trust and Clearing Corporation, completed its acquisition of Securency. Securency is a company that for years has been in the business of tokenizing assets. They create cryptographic tokens on various blockchains, and those tokens generally represent some sort of investment. It could be debt, it could be a private company, it could be private real estate, whatever it might be. But that's that's what Securency has been doing for a while. This deal was announced, I think, back in October. It was completed. It was about a $50 million deal. But here's why it's important, because this is DTCC. This is the company that is in charge of basically clearing stock transactions, clearing equity transactions, clearing publicly traded transactions. This is their job, is to have these databases and clear those transactions. So theoretically, when I sell you know, a share of Apple stock, it goes through DTCC. The fact that they acquired Securency tells us that we we are going to see more issuances of tokenized versions of funds, tokenized versions of assets, possibly publicly traded companies, possibly privately traded companies, and DCC is going to be able to clear those transactions on chain. They're basically saying, look, this technology, and they said exactly, this technology allows us to be more efficient, cheaper, faster, more transparent, all those things we really like. And instead of going and hiring our own team to try to build and do this, we're just going to basically hire, we're going to acquire Securency, who's had this expertise for quite a while. And what this tells us is, again, there's going to be more tokenized assets. There's going to be more tokenized versions of assets that are already available, more new tokens being issued based on, you know, probably regulated funds or regulated investments, and eventually probably just tokens that are issued. They're not going to, to necessarily be, you know, a fund that exists off chain and is now going to go off chain is probably going to be more tokenized version of funds because the DTCC is going to be able to clear them. This is a really big deal from an organization that has been so much at the forefront kind of a, of the technology needs of the financial services industry to be able to affect transactions. What this one means for you as the advisor is you're going to have to understand, again, what tokenized assets look like. And yes, they might just be tokenized versions, a cryptographic token that represents a publicly traded company or a privately traded company or some sort of private investment or public investment, but it gives the ability to custody those assets or your client can potentially custody them themselves. It gives extreme transparency. It gives instant settlement. It gives all those aspects we like about blockchain technology. And you're just going to have to understand that that's going to be the direction we're going to go. We're going to settle transactions on chain. We're going to settle assets and keep track of the ledger on chain. The other piece of news I wanted to hit is the fact that Coinbase launched their Project Diamond. Coinbase just keeps pushing forward and pushing forward and pushing forward with new things. They've launched Project Diamond outside of the US, of course. And what Project Diamond is on top of their layer two. So they have a layer two on top of Ethereum called Base. So utilizing Base, organizations, fund managers, investment managers, asset managers can issue tokens directly on chain, directly on Base, which is a layer two on top of the Ethereum blockchain. And this is be regulatory compliant. So right now they're compliant in Abu Dhabi. That's where they're going to launch first within the regulated sandbox there in Abu Dhabi. And there's already been a transaction on this network. But for Project Diamond, again, asset managers, investment managers, fund managers, whatever, are going to be able to launch tokens directly on this layer two and have them be tradable right away for those that have gone through the appropriate KYC AML. So now what we're seeing is this completely on-chain system that is still going to be compliant. And as I talked about with the DTCC and Securency, it's going to be more transparent, instant settlement, able to be held in wallets, able to be traded right away. And this is going to change the industry because now you're going to be able to, it's not like these companies or fund managers are going to create a regulated entity off chain and then necessarily create the token. It's they can directly just issue it as the token. It's not like the token and or the stack of paperwork you might get or token and or the stock certificate. This is going to be, they're just going to issue the token directly on base, the layer two chain. It integrates USDC. So payments can be made in crypto. I can buy these shares or I can buy these tokens potentially directly in USDC, all of it happening on chain, which means more self-custody, which means instant settlement, which means transparency.
see it means more and more people are going to be able to transact without traditional custodians and traditional banks which is the whole idea here it's going to be publicly available on a public ledger and again going back to coinbase they're the ones that are creating this system such that companies fund managers investment managers are going to be able to issue these tokens this is coinbase saying look we're already regulated we're going to give you the ability to feel safe and secure about buying on-chain assets real world assets on chain this is a another big deal it goes towards adoption it goes towards the use of the chains for the case of dtcc and for the case of coinbase it means potentially more adoption of the ethereum network which in theory means the value of eth should go up because there's going to be more demand to buy that space to buy that time on the ethereum blockchain so many different aspects that we see here and it's really exciting and talking really fast about it but it's really important again for advisors to start understanding this the ideas of self-custody transparency instant settlement are going to be huge in the near future as more and more companies as more and more issuers fund managers asset managers investment managers are going to be able to issue directly on chain so that's what I wanted to talk about here and try to get people, try to get you all as advisors to start understanding and learning more about not just crypto assets, volatile crypto assets, but about what is happening on chain, what's happening with blockchain so that you understand how you're going to help your clients in the future.